my name is Natasha Gilmore. I'm the Artistic Director of Barrowland Ballet, but I've been working with Mary Hill Integration Network for the past 10 years. We've been making together a series of dance theatre pieces that relates to the stories of the group, some of the struggles that they've been through and their process of integrating here in Glasgow. People come in from all over and we come in France and some of them for first time dancing in their life and you can just see their confidence is building day by day and they're really ready to perform in the stages. <laughs> opened up my eyes to the diversity that we can celebrate within dance and the fact that it brings people together and it helps. It's a universal language that people speak, allow people to express themselves and tell their stories through movement where some people might have barriers to communicating languages. Dance kind of lifts those barriers. <laughs> Actually, we was inspired by the refugee crisis, what mm. happens in the last three years in the Mediterranean Sea. It's in particular, challenging journeys and how we, how we make those journeys and how we, how we get the courage to make them and the obstacles that one, we might overcome along the way. And we use a poem at the beginning that actually refers to Scottish people travelling out abroad, travelling all the way to Australia or New Zealand. Obviously, with the group of people on stage that you see, that brings to mind the journeys coming to Scotland. Headed to a boat on a forbidden sea, the fatal winds to blow them. Some would succeed and others would die. To America, Canada, and far off New Zealand. But there will always be the lingering cry, the broken song of the highlands, to be forced away from the home you love the place of your belonging. People here have empathy and love for them as human beings, whether they're a different race or creed is not the important factor, it's more to show our humanity. It's very easy to get very like statistic or statistical, if that's a word, with people, uh, forgetting that they're actually people. And it's projects like these or when you come to performances um, whatever your opinions on refugees are or asylum seekers are, you kind of be like, oh, but they're just like the same as everyone else. Telling their story of struggle, yeah. story of pain and yeah. sadness as well, but also ending with celebration, what they're learning from each other. And the richness of this project is everybody gains something back as well, not only offering, but also learning. It's most amazing when this tune of same music, you can see dances from across the globe. because I've been doing it a lot and all this learning doesn't make me stressed it just made me learn more and know more and we do Michelle starts and then like, like that's kind of when you get to show your own moves and what's a part of yourself where we do the little children's bit where our little routine together that's my favourite no back go lean on it <laughs> that one, Michelle's dance. 
Um, I like when Sadie and Caitlin start like this, going after we go round like that. different ages that we have in the group so we have toddlers all the way up to adults who are professional dancers what's interesting in the rehearsals is how, how to keep everyone engaged on different levels and it's really just through the joy of being here the joy of sharing those things together and working with each other and actually I think there's something really brilliant about that feeling of being kind of within a family basically I like this per performance because too much person together connected for one dance. You make new friends and all of us are like one big family. I like dancing because we always learn new moves and we're all friends. From my beginnings as volunteering in the dance group at Minham now, yeah, it's kind of shaped my whole career and become part of my family in Glasgow. Yeah, I guess it's connecting with people and people that I would probably never have connected with had it not been for the project. Through the creative outlet that we're telling the story, getting to meet people on that level where, where you're digging really deep into your emotions within yourself and sharing that with other people. When you are performing, you get this sense of the, the emotion that's, that's behind it and different people's pain or joy and that's, that's really special. Yeah. Oh, the souls of yesterday.